Chris says, do you still recommend your proximity push process for generating high quality leads from Google ads? Proximity push wasn't about generating leads. It will occasionally actually generate a lead, but proximity push was about using Google display ads to help push Google maps performance or Google business profile performance in, in map search. So essentially that's why it's called proximity push. It was to expand the proximity of the coverage area that the Google business profile is given by Google in Google map search. That's what the proximity push method was for. It wasn't for generating leads, not directly from ads. Um, it, when done properly and set up properly, there there is going to be times where the Google the, those ads will generate leads, but that wasn't the intent of that that process. The proximity push process was for using Google Ads as a CTR manipulation tool, but you're buying validated Google user traffic to to then send click activity from validated. Google user traffic within a specific defined geographic radius or area, however you define that in the ads campaign, uh, with click sending click activity direct to Google Maps. That's what that was for. That makes sense. That was not for generating. I mean, again, with the proper targeting and ad setup, there are going to be times where you will actually generate a lead from the, that click activity, but that, that was buying um, validated Google user traffic to send engagement signals to the Google Maps profile or Google Business profile via Google Maps. Hopefully that's clear.